tell you, Azriel, I can't stand it much longer. Will I ever catch them? Will they always foil me? Is there no justice in this world? It isn't fair, I tell you, it isn't fair. Papa Smurf wouldn't approve of this one bit, Jokey. Well, well, what do we have here? A little something from Mummy? Yeah, cool! Puss, Smurfberry jam! Ghastly stuff! Yeah, brah! I'll get you rotten Smurfs for this! I'll get all of you! Better than honey, better than ham, there is nothing better than Smurfberry jam! Greedy's making Smurf Berry honey cake candy. I'll bet Greedy makes the best Smurf Berry honey cake in the whole world, Smurfette. Mm, there's not the best Smurf Berry honey cake in my Truly, the mind of Smurf cannot foretell the secrets of this forest dell. Yet, oh. <laughs> lazy Smurf, now look what you've done. But I didn't do anything. The only thing that saves you from my wrath, Lazy, is that they taste so good. Yeah, what a horrible taste. How can those little blue bellies eat this stuff? Perhaps I... Yes, why not? That's it. It's perfect. Now I know how to make them suffer, Azriel. I'll destroy the Smurf berries. <laughs> I sure wish Greedy would hurry with that Smurf Fairy honey cake, Papa Smurf. Patience, Hefty. Patience. Oh, baby, isn't this exciting? Your first Smurf Fairy honey cake. <laughs> Greedy's taking an awful long time with that cake, Papa Smurf. No, no, Greedy. I'm sure we can trust Greedy. Just be patient. I hate patience. I've got it! I've got it! <laughs> ah, perfection to the last Smurf Betty! <laughs> choo, 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 choo! Yum, yum, yum! Is this good? This is the best cake I ever made. I have to admit it, Greedy. You have truly taken gastronomy to the level of high art. I have? Choo, 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 choo! <laughs> And now, my little Smurfs, let us give thanks to Mother Nature, who has supplied us with such a good dinner. And Greedy Smurf, master of the Smurf Fairy. Hooray! 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 Mmm, yum. What would we ever do without Smurf Fairies, Papa Smurf? Why, I don't know, Greedy. I suppose it would be a disaster. So, they love Smurf Fairies, do they? Well, love this! Ah! It works, it works! I'm a genius, Azriel! <laughs> the results are beyond my wildest dreams, Azriel! <laughs> Look at them die! Oh, it's die, die, die! The Smurfs will have no pie! This is the last pie, everybody! We need more Smurf berries! Well, you can count on us, Greedy! You certainly can! We'll get some berries for you right now! The last one, Azriel. The last one! The last one? But of course, the last Smurfberry bush. If those Smurfs want Smurfberries, they'll have to come to me! <laughs> There's not one Smurfberry alive! What will I do without Smurfberries? Well, the way I see it, there is certainly nothing to panic about. This situation is only a temporary aberration of a primary... Let's tell Papa Smurf. He'll know what to do. Papa Smurf! Soon, Azriel, soon. Soon they'll come sniveling about with their tongues hanging out, begging for Smurf berries. And will I give them any? No! <laughs> La 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 Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! The Smurf Berry trees are all dead! Dead? There's not even one Smurf Berry tree left, Papa Smurf! What are we gonna do, Papa Smurf? Obviously, the work of Gargamel. 
But all is not lost, my little Smurfs. Dreedy, aren't there Smurf fairy seeds in the storehouse? See, there's nothing to worry about. I told you Papa Smurf would come up with an answer. There's not one seed left, Papa Smurf. Not one! But, but that's impossible. Greedy, did you use the last seeds? Uh, yes, Papa Smurf. I'm sorry. I had a little snack last night. I, I put them on a pudding and... Oh, my. We want Smurf berries. We want Smurf berries. Baby Smurf won't eat, Papa Smurf. We want Smurf berries. We want Smurf berries. Quiet, my Smurfs. Quiet. Now, Greedy has worked very hard to prepare this dinner. Last Smurfberry bush. The perfect bait for the perfect trap. <laughs> Yahoo! I hate snakes. <laughs> Papa Smurf, what is it, Brady? I was wondering, uh, Papa Smurf, if I might be of any assistance in the creation of your new Smurf fairy substitute. Thank you, but I don't think so, Brady. There is no substitute for brilliance, Azriel. I can hardly wait and... Hey! Hey, get off there! <coughs> get off of my tree! Ooh, if there's anything I hate worse than Smurfs, Azriel, it's Smurf fairy birds! <coughs> All right, Handy, let's try your Smurf berry making machine. Oh. A little faster, Handy. That's it. Ah. Hold it. All right, Greedy. Feels just right. Yay! Color's just right. Well, well taste it. it. Yeah. Tooey. Sorry, Papa Smurf. They may look like Smurf berries, but they sure don't taste like Smurf berries. Ah! What do we do now, Papa Smurf? There is only one thing left to do, my little Smurfs. An expedition must return to the island where Smurf berries were first discovered. Oh! Though it is far across the sea, I am afraid it is our only hope. And the sooner we get started, the sooner we'll have Smurf berries. Yay! Oh, thank you, Taylor. It's beautiful. Think of it. Just like the good old days. I hate good old days. Think of it. The future happiness of every Smurf is in our hands. Oh, how romantic. Romantic? What's romantic about getting seasick? What's romantic about storms at sea? What's romantic about freezing nights and blistering days? <laughs> Fry a few and a pickle a few and serve a few real cold. Then I'll toast a few and roast a few and boil the rest for gold. Hey! A Smurfberry bush. I must tell Papa Smurf. If I told them once, I told them twice. But would anybody listen to me? Oh, no! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Gargamel has a Smurf fairy tree! Let's get it, Papa Smurf! No, Greedy. Too dangerous. It's probably a trap. Not a one. How can they resist? They must be up to something, Azriel. But what? Oh, my aching feet. Those little blue beasts, what are they up to? Oh, what have we here? They've cut little trees and wagon tracks headed toward the river Smurf. Of course, they're building a boat. No doubt an expedition to that blasted island for more Smurf berries. Come along, Azriel. Not much further, Azriel. The river Smurf is right... Yeah! Uh, a slime pond? They tricked me, Azriel! Tricked me, tricked me, tricked me! Tricked me. <laughs> 
So, those rotten little beasts are going on a cruise, are they? <laughs> well, I'll make sure it'll be their last. <laughs> Furthermore, for just six Smurfs, you may have the Smurfberry bush. Kindest regards, Gargamel. He has that gold fever again. I'm so hungry for Smurfberries, I could cry. I christen you SS Smurf 2. Hmm. Amazing. I christen thee SS Smurf 2. I regret I cannot join you on this great quest. I need not remind you that without Smurf fairies, the Smurf is in grave jeopardy. Our future depends on your success. Don't worry, Papa Smurf. Under my inspired leadership, I am certain that... I am certain that... I am... <laughs> hip, 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 hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Hip, hip, hooray! Here they are, Osriel. There's the boat. They've set sail. Get off of me, you fool! <laughs> Gee, baby, maybe Smurfberry Bird will bring us one. Whoa! you'll understand me. I'll go down in the pit, Papa Smurf. Why, thank you. You are a brave Smurf, Lacey. But the responsibility is mine. Easy now. Easy. 
Slowly, slowly. So you see, my friend, Gargamel has us all in a trap. Oh, please, please, kind sir. I we haven't you. enough food and water to keep the likes of you. Jump! No, no, please, please, let me go, and I'll give you gold. And where would the likes of you be getting gold? The Smurfs. I can turn them into gold. Any man that thinks he can turn mice into gold is truly mad, Captain. Jump! Oh, no, no, please! Jump! Yeah! One thing I'd rather see than me, and that's me eating a Smurf Berry. No, oh, I can't eat another Smurf Berry, but oh, so good. Hooray! Keep a sharp eye out for Gargamel. Easy now, slowly. Don't move, Greedy, don't move. Oh, no! Oh, Osriel, what ill fortune marooned on an island. All the fault of those blasted Smurfs. What's that awful smell? Smurf berries? Hurry, my merry Smurfs. Time and tide wait for no Smurf. What luck? Smurf Berry Island. Oh, I can't wait to get my hands on those repulsive little beasts. Who are these? Creatures that dare intrude on my domain. Come, my friends, let us find out. What is the meaning of this thievery? I'm Captain Dreamy Man, and this is my crew. Oh, oh, please, we're only taking a few. That mean old Gargamel killed all of our Smurf fairy bushes, and, and we're just trying to get some seeds. Who is this Gargamel? Uh, um, did someone mention my name? Gargamel! I didn't mean to frighten you, my friend. I agree. Putting you in that pit was a bad thing to do. Let's pick these berries and have a party, Papa Smurf. I'm afraid there will be no party, Greedy, until the Smurf 2 returns. Besides, Gargamel may show up at any moment. My dear woman, these ungrateful little Smurfs are my property. Yeah. I feed them, I house them, I love them. But do they care? No. Turn my back a moment and they're gone. Oh, Gargamel, that's not true. He's so mean and nasty and cruel, and he never once gave... Enough! Obviously, someone is lying. I despise lying. I loathe lying. But I have my ways of finding the truth. Don't I, my pet? Smurfberry Island! Gargamel knows Papa Smurf. Do you think he went after them, Papa Smurf? Yes, there is no time to lose. Hey, will somebody let me out of here? <laughs> hurry, my Smurfs, hurry! Where's Greedy? Greedy? Mm. Uh, yes, Papa Smurf. Greedy, control yourself. Uh, sorry, Papa Smurf, this terrible urge comes over me. I know, Greedy, I know. My gulls have a great insight into the nature of things, especially the nature of truth. So be warned. Lie to a seagull and he'll peck off your nose. Now, you there, what is your story? Well, 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 you see, Gargamel killed all the Smurf fairy bushes and then he... I am forced to ask you a favor, my friend. Rawr, rawr, rawr. Oh, the sacrifices I have made for these poor wretches. Uh, the care I have freely given. Uh, and this is how they repay me. Uh, this is how they return my love. Uh, running away from... I see. 
no, 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 no! Go away! Go away! No! No! I suggest we build another ship, Papa Smurf. Not yet, Handy. We'll give them a few more days. You think they're really coming back, Papa Smurf? Why, of course they are, Lazy. Um, um, yum. Mmm. I sure miss them, Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! When I get my hands on those lying little Smurfs, Adriel, I'll shake them silly! <laughs> I've never seen anything like it, Papa Smurf. Drop anchor! Aye, aye, Captain! <laughs> I see you've made some modifications, Captain Dreamy. It rains, sir. <laughs> <laughs> amazing, amazing, absolutely amazing, the way those Smurfs can lie. Oh, what a trip. The only thing I hate worse than Smurfs, Azriel, is seagulls. Oh, no! Ah, ah! If there's anything I hate worse than seagulls, it's snakes! <laughs> oh, yes, Azriel. I'm going to give those Smurfs something they've always needed. A nice, deadly disease. It's called hopping cough. <laughs> This illness will make the Smurfs cough and hop about uncontrollably, like the bunch of little blue frogs they are. <coughs> Coughing and hopping Smurfs will be so easy to locate and capture, Azriel. <coughs> and now for the final ingredients. Two rabbit hairs, a jumping bean, and three ounces of hops. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Asriel, isn't it charming that the disease which will destroy those stinking little pests will descend upon them on a wafted morning breeze? <laughs> By sundown, every smurf in the forest will be hopping right into my clutches. <laughs> Whee! 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 Come on, dear friend. Now it's your turn. Ribbit. 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 <laughs> It won't be long before Baby can jump with the best of us. Oh, dear. Something's wrong with Baby. Gee, maybe the little Smurfling is catching cold. That's not like any cold I've ever seen. Oh, poor Baby. We'd better take you to Papa Smurf right away. Leaping lizard. I've never seen anything like it. Baby, come back! <coughs> oh, baby! Hurry, hurry, hurry! La, 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 la. Oh, some Smurf catch baby! Oh, Peter, look! <coughs> Suck me to grin! <coughs> Voila, I have catched the elusive baby! <coughs> Vicious was! The baby has escaped! I got the little squeezer! Ha! Gotcha! <laughs> oh, I hope baby's going to be all right. Don't worry, Vanity. Papa Smurf will find a cure. It is obvious to the trained ear that baby has either a mild case of frog asleep ovia or a touch of bounce-itis. I don't think so, Brainy. Uh, 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 neither do I, Papa Smurf. Uh, I was uh, merely trying to alleviate every Smurf's fears. Baby Smurf has a very, very serious illness. What is it, Papa Smurf? A rare and deadly disease known as the hopping cough. The hopping cough? Oh, no! What can we do? We need three things to cure a baby. What are they, Papa Smurf? First, we need penicillium mold from the mold mines. Sure, and I'll do that, Papa Smurf. Good, Miner Smurf. Now, Handy, you must gather a vial of steam from Demon Springs. Good as done, Papa Smurf. The most important part of the cure is the tail feather of a hopping crane. Hefty, I want... We're on our way, Papa Smurf. 
Where do we find one? On Bad Mountain. Bad Mountain? This old map shows the way. Being a map reader extraordinaire, I, Brainy Smurf, will guide Hefty's mountain climbing party. Very well, Brainy. I must stay here and try to keep the disease from spreading. We must have a cure before sundown, or we'll all have the hopping cough. <laughs> yet, Azriel, but it won't be long. Good luck, my little Smurfs, and be careful. We will, Papa Smurf. No Smurf has ever climbed Bad Mountain. Don't worry, Hefty. We can't possibly fail with me, Brainy Smurf, guiding the expedition. And I was worried. La, 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 la. Clumsy. Oh, hi, Brady, Hefty, Matt. What on earth are you doing here? I want to help Baby too. Don't be ridiculous, Clumsy. Mountain climbers must be agile and sure-footed. You are clumsy. Oh, gosh. You're right, Brainy. Go back to the village this instant. <sighs> All right, Brainy. Honestly, some Smurfs have no awareness of their limitations. And no Smurf knows that better than you, Brainy. Let's get Smurfing. <laughs> Clumsy, clumsy, clumsy. How can we get the hopping crane feather if you keep delaying us? If Papa Smurf wanted you to go, he'd have sent you to the hot springs or the mold mines. <laughs> Now, now, Clumsy, no need to cry about it. Ariel! Get them, Ariel! Get them! <coughs> Don't let them get away, you stupid furball! <coughs> Gosh, sounds like trouble! <coughs> Help! <coughs> Smurfs must have caught the hopping cough, or they wouldn't be on their way to Bad Mountain. Ouch! Well, let them get their feather. We can still stop the Smurfs at the mold mines. Gosh, I hope they're all right. Huh? Oh, gosh, they lost the map. They'll never find the hopping crane now. Oh, I, I better take the map to Papa Smurf. Uh, but Brainy needs it. Uh, uh, but, but Brainy would be mad if I followed them. Uh, but Papa Smurf would be mad if... <coughs> Poor baby is getting weaker and weaker, poet. We must have that cure. Alas, the child was better off before it caught the hopping. <coughs> oh, my. There it is! Bad Mountain! I told you I'd find it. Finding Bad Mountain is one thing. Climbing it is something else. Don't worry, Hefty. Mountains are our friends. Sure doesn't look friendly to me. Demon Spring sure is a strange place. Oh, let's get our steam and get out of here. I hate here. There they be. The mold mines. Light your candles. I just love grubbing about underground. More Smurf tracks, Azriel. <laughs> They're inside, trapped. <laughs> yeah. Papa Smurf said to look for Cradle Rock. That's where we start following the map. Oh, gosh. I'll never be able to climb that mountain. But Brainy needs this map to find the hopping crane. I gotta try. <clears throat> Gee, guess I gotta try harder. 
<laughs> Zilla Beer, this will be my finest, <laughs> as well as my final Master Pizza. Have heart, Peter. The expedition still have half a day to get the ingredients for the cure. Ah uh, oui, Papa Smurf, but, uh, but, uh, uh, sacre bleu, I believe I am catching the hopping. <laughs> Amazing. Here it is, Demon Springs. Let's get our steam and get back home. I wonder why they call this place Demon Springs. I don't want to know why they call it Demon Springs. I hate Demon Springs. Oh, dear. We're surrounded. Oh, Handy, if we don't get back to the village for the steam, maybe Smurf may never get well. Don't let him get away, Greedy. <coughs> Grab him. Sacre blue grain. Get him to bed immediately. Here, Papa Smurf. <laughs> I thought a little surprise might cheer you up. <laughs> Thank you, Jokey, but not now. But, but, but. <laughs> Cradle Rock. It's just like Papa Smurf said. Time for your guide to read Papa Smurf's map. Take it out of my backpack, will you, Hefty? Brady, the map is gone! <gasps> I must have lost it on the trail. How can we find the hopping cream's nest? Oh, you really did it this time! Have no fear, my fellow Smurfs. I, Brainy Smurf, will follow Papa Smurf's map from memory. First, we go three steps forward, then two steps to the left, and then down! <laughs> Hang on, Hi, Brady. You lost your map. It's so dark in here, I can barely see myself. Benedict, you should be worrying about baby and not how you look. There can't be much farther. There can be Gora. There it is. Ugh, it looks disgusting. Papa Smurf said this mold can be used to cure just about everything. We just hope it cures the hopping cough. Trying to cure the hopping cough, are they? No. Mm -hmm. Well, I can't let that happen. Once I drop this boulder on them, they'll find their plans have gone a little flat. <laughs> for making the hopping cough cure. I still think it's disgusting. Oh, much better. Here it goes, Azriel. Oh, look out! <gasps> it's rolling, it's rolling, it's rolling! Yeah! In all my days, I never heard a cave-in scream. Only a few hours to sundown, we passed the hurrying. <laughs> some smurf down into the nest. I've been lowered quite enough for one day, thank you. Uh, gosh, Hefty, I'll bet. Gee, uh, I'm sorry, Clumsy, but Nat's the smurf for this job. True, true. Remember, Papa Smurf did say that Nat Smurf is the only one who can persuade the crane to give us one of its tail feathers. The smurfs in the mold mines were just lucky, Osriel, but there's still time to stop the others. Yeah! <laughs> well, well, well. It looks like we won't have to do anything but stand here at once. Oh, Asriel, this promises to be wonderful entertainment. <laughs> We can still get home before sundown. <laughs> Baby, come back here. Let all those who have the hobby and get them into my house. Yes, Papa Smurf. Papa Smurf, we have it. Baby Smurf, come back here. 
Sure, and I got baby popper smurf. <laughs> oh, good work, Miner. And the penicillium mold? We have it, popper smurf. Oh, good, good. Oh, let's hope the others return in time. My feathered friend is still there. Good. Wayne and I will lower you down. Ready when you are. Gee, Hackett, uh, what can I do? Uh, here, Clumsy. You can tie this rope around Nat. Oh, sure, Hefty. Clumsy! Oh, poor, poor Clumsy. If only I treated him better when he was alive. If only I hadn't constantly and repeatedly called him a bumbling inept. He's okay! He's okay? Oh, uh, hi, little birdie. Ah, Clumsy Smurf. You get up here this instant, you bumbling inept. Oh, no! Clumsy. Now we'll never save the village from the hopping cough. What else could possibly go? 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 Oh, no! <laughs> <laughs> from a hopping crane, this medicine won't work. Oh, dear. Oh, boo-hoo. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. She's caught in the wind. Amazing. Smurfin, come, come back. back. Oh, my Smurfin. I'm blowing away. Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Nicara. She's gone. Let's hope the wind changes. What should we do, Papa Smurf? Follow me. Uh, there's only one way out of here. Down. Gosh, I hope I don't. <laughs> <clears throat> Gee, I wish I had something to eat. Mountain berries. Gee, this must be my lucky day. Oh, these berries look good. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Ah! Ah! Oh, gee! Ah. It's that birdie! Gosh! You're in trouble, little birdie! Ah! Ah! Well, don't you worry! I'll get you out! I'll dream of a way to catch every smurf once and for all. Oh, dear! <laughs> oh, dear! Huh? Azriel, did you hear that? <laughs> a floating smurfette? Uh, or am I just dreaming? Oh, my! I'm floating toward Gargamel! I'm not dreaming. She's flying right into my clutches. <laughs> Today may turn out just fine after all. Oh, my! How will I ever get down from here? This way, you rotten smurf. Gargamel! That's right, and you'll be my catch of the day. <laughs> you rats! Come back here, you rotten smurf! Oh, oh, I'm heading back toward the village. Oh, oh dear. Make 
Slime is not one of my favorite jobs, but somebody's got to do it. I'll make enough this season so I won't have to do it again next year. I'll get you if it's the last thing I ever do. Now all I have to do is deliver this awful stuff. Oh my, you are potent. Goodbye and good riddance. <laughs> How in the world did I get here? Here she comes again, my little Smurfs. Hold still, every Smurf. Gotcha! Half stays back. Half stays back. <coughs> Hefty, we almost gave up hope. Uh, yeah, we got them all and steam already. So all we be needing is a... Uh... Sorry, Papa Smurf. We... we failed. Not only did we not get the feather, <coughs> but we also lost Clumsy. Clumsy? Well, I've been so busy, I didn't even know he was gone. What happened? We lost your map. Clumsy found it and the brave little guy followed us. But he fell into the hopping crane's nest and it flew away with them. Oh, Papa Smurf, we'll never see poor Clumsy. Uh, uh, hi, I'm ready. Here's the feather, Papa Smurf. Yay! You made the right decision to take them the map, Clumsy. But how on earth did you get the hopping crane to bring you home? Uh, we got a lot in common, Papa Smurf. <laughs> Amazing! Well, the hopping cough medicine is complete. What do we do? Drink it? Well, um, <laughs> not exactly. Well, all the smiles with hopping cough are cured. Ouch! And the cure will keep the rest of us from catching it, too. Ouch! We're all real proud of you, Clumsy. If you hadn't convinced that hopping crane to bring us one of its tail feathers, well, uh... Ouch! Ouch! Uh, A sight for Smurf eyes. All my little Smurfs busy at harvest time. Lazy! Uh, 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 oh, coming, Papa Smurf! Why aren't you helping with the harvest? Oh, well, I was going to, Papa Smurf, but I had this terrible Smurf ache, uh, and my back hurt, and, and my stomach was icky, and like that. Well, now that you're rested, go fetch some water! Uh, uh, yes, Papa Smurf. Phew. I sure could use a drink. So could we, but Lazy never brought the water. He didn't? Well, I'll bet he's off sleeping again. And when I find him, I'm going to give him a piece of my Smurf. Because no one fools Papa Smurf and gets away with... Yeah! Go to the forest and smurf some firewood. Yes, Papa Smurf. Good idea, Papa Smurf. There's no room for loafers, I always say. And Greedy can help, too. He needs the exercise. <laughs> work, work, work. That's all we ever do. No sense grumbling lazy. Papa Smurf says we Smurfs have to pull together as a team. After all, a little hard work never hurt any Smurf, right? Wrong! That theory bears re-examination. I'm sick of work. All I want is a little nap. <sighs> all I want is a big basket of Smurf berries! <laughs> yum, yum, yum. I'm too tired to eat. Wow, a perfect spot for a nap. Ah, uh, a quick rest and I'll uh, get right back to work. Amazing. Uh, now what? Uh, uh, who are you? 
I am Cicero, and you, my friend, are overworked. I'll say. You need a vacation, and I have just a place for you. Well, well, wait a minute. What place? Paradise, of course, where there is no work, no responsibility, and nobody to tell you what to do. Oh, you love it. Well, uh, I... Lazy! Lazy! Um, uh, okay, I'll go, but just for a few minutes. That's the spirit right this way. There he is. Lazy, where have you been? We have work to do. Come on. Oh, you see that? Lazy Smurf right through that waterfall. We have to rescue him. You go see where he went, sweetie, while I, um, uh, keep an eye on the firewood. No way! After you, Brady. Wait, uh, let's discuss this Smurf to Smurf. Oh? Wow! Wow! Well, well. Welcome to Paradise. I am Bacchus, your host. <laughs> Whatever you desire here is yours to enjoy. Oh, boy! Thanks, Master Bacchus! Thanks a lot. But we can't stay here. We have firewood to gather and... Firewood? Take all you want. <laughs> and... And the Papa Smurf said never talk to strangers. But you're about friends now. <laughs> and Papa Smurf's gonna be real mad if you... Oh, don't be such a party smurfer. Yeah, Brainy. Relax a little. <laughs> you Smurfs have fun, for life is short. <laughs> I've slept in every bed here, and I can't sleep another wink. I can't eat another crumb. <laughs> and I'm bored. Oh, me too. <gasps> me too. Me three. You, Mr. Bacchus. Bacchus. Ah, what can I do for you? More pillows? More pastries? More excitement! We're bored! Yeah, me too! So am I! Let's play a game! How about hide and hunt, boss? That's a good game! Hide and hunt? I never heard of it! Oh, it's fun! You Smurfs go hide, and Cicero and I will hunt! There we go! One, two, three, four, five, six! <laughs> Perfect! He'll never find us here! I hope not. All that running around wore me out. Eight, nine, ten! Ready or not, here we come! Oh, they want excitement. We'll give them excitement. <laughs> <laughs> you see them, boss? No, but I have a feeling they're right over there! <laughs> I only heard two voices, boss. Hmm. I must be losing my touch. Lazy, help us! <laughs> oh, would you two quit fooling around? Get us out of here! I'll never get a nap. <coughs> ah, how did you fall in there anyway? Ah. I don't know. It just kind of happened. Sure it did. Come on, let's find a better hiding spot. Surprise! Surprise! What? I missed them? Where'd they go? Don't worry, boss. They can't be far away. Yes, yes. I, I'll bet they're right over there. They'll never find us here. Look, Look out! out. <laughs> hey, what's the big idea? It wasn't us. That statue moved. Sure, and I'm moving too to a quieter hiding place. Hey, wait for us! <laughs> no, I got you. Ah, escape again. I'm getting angry. Easy, boss. Easy. You will find them this time for sure. Yes, I will. Because no matter where they're hiding, this time I'll get them. <laughs> 
gone too far. Come, Cicero, it's time to stop playing with these Smurfs and prepare for dinner! You're right, this place is dangerous! Hey, can't be all that bad. I smell home cooking! Message from Bacchus. Here's tonight's special menu. Hmm, I see we're having guests for dinner. Hey, that's us! Oh, yes. Bacchus wants souffle a la Smurf. Souffle, souffle a la Smurf? That's us, all right. Well, let's get out of here! Good idea! Let's go get some Going somewhere? <laughs> Not <laughs> us! Good, because now the party is over. It's time to pay the bill. The pay? But, but, but we thought, thought it was for free. Free? <laughs> you little fools. Someone has to cook my food and cut my wood and tend my gardens, don't they? Well then, since you are too small to do any of those things, there's only one place left for you. On my dinner plate. <laughs> We won't, boss. No! Yeah! You will never escape, Smurfs. Never! Powers that be, listen to me. Stop those Smurfs before they break free. for winter in the Smurf of time. And we couldn't have done it without every Smurf's help. Lazy, you're the only Smurf still awake. <laughs> Why haven't you drifted off to Dreamland, too? I've already been to Dreamland, Papa Smurf, and it's not all it's cracked up to be. Smurf? No, Handy. Say, I just finished my chore, so how about a game of Smurf ball? Can't. Have to mow these weeds. And they be driving me smurfy. Hey, Jokey, join me for a swim? Swim? <laughs> I have to cut all this firewood. And that's no joke. Greedy Smurf, how would you like to... Sorry, Handy, I'm too busy. Uh, what's smurfing, Handy? Forget it. 
If only there was a faster way for us Smurfs to get our work done. I know. I'll invent a way. Why all the excitement, Smurfette? Oh, Andy's fixing a surprise for us. I hate surprises. Attention, Smurfs. You see before you an invention to take all the work out of work. A clockwork Smurf. Huh? Just hit Clockwork Smurf's button for whatever kind of work you have to do. And Clockwork Smurf will do it for you. That contraption be as strong as a hundred Smurfs. Andy, old pal, can I use him next? No, I have him next. Oh, no. Hold it, hold it. I want Papa Smurf to have the honor of using him first. Why, thank you, Handy. I do have a little kink in my back. Perhaps a gentle massage. A little to the right. <laughs> a little to the left. <laughs> ah, right there. <sighs> I feel like a new Smurf. Next. Uh, just a pinch less sugar in the next batch, Clockwork Smurf. <laughs> I have to wash the old Smurf line, you know. <laughs> oh, Clockwork Smurf, you can do so many things. I hate doing things that the Clockwork Smurf can do better. I wonder what makes this thing tick. I'll just sneak a peek. Oops. Ah. Clockwork Smurf! Where are you? Uh-oh. Clockwork Smurf! Oh, there you are! I don't understand. Where did I go wrong? I don't know, but you must put things right again before the whole village is destroyed. I'm afraid we'll have to use force to stop him. Ooh, poor clockwork. But I give the word, we'll pounce. <laughs> Smurf him! Look out! Sorry, Smurf. This is gonna hurt me more than it hurts you. My most brilliant creation, a failure. What could have gone wrong? It wasn't your fault, Handy. You smurfed your best.
isn't it exciting, milady? I can hardly wait. Tomorrow is Prince Gerald's 12th birthday, the day he officially becomes our new king. It excites me to no end, Mrs. Sowerberry. A pity the poor little fellow has been so ill for so long. Oh, yes, but he will be well enough to attend this coronation, won't he? Mrs. Sowerberry, we can only pray. Oh, how sad. But some hot food is just what he needs, though. Oh, he's still much too sick for visitors. But I shall see that he eats every drop. Oh, thank you, milady. Oh, little talk. He's been sick for so long. Everything is going according to plan. By this time tomorrow, I, Imperia, shall be queen. Ha, 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 ha. You rang, milady? Here is something for your dog. Now, take this pot of disgusting gruel to the precious little prince, as usual. <laughs> yes, milady. And at midnight, when everyone's asleep, we will sneak the rat to the secret dungeon under the moat. Tomorrow, we will announce that his three years of illness have come to a final tragic end. Then, as the law decrees, I shall be crowned queen. <laughs> Good evening, your royal lowness. <laughs> I bring you glad tidings. At midnight, we're moving you to chambers more befitting a young king. Really? Yes. A place without such drafty windows. In fact, with no windows at all. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, Ulrich. I shall have my day. Oh, you'll have many, many days. All spent in the dungeon. <laughs> Enjoy your coronation feast. <laughs> What am I to do? What have they done? Put a snake in my gruel? What? Well, what a clever little doll. I don't know how you got here, but you're stuck with me now. Me, the rats. Huh? What are you trying to tell me? You're not only clever, you're a genius. We must find someone we can trust and tell them the truth about Lady Imperia. Dear Mrs. Sowberry, oh, am I glad to see you after all these years. Who are you, child, and how did you get into this castle? Tis I, Prince Gerard. Remember? Sure. And I suppose those rags you wear are the latest royal fashion. But let me explain. Here, young man, take these cookies and be gone. But, but I can... You'd best trot yourself home before the guards walk to. And don't sneak in here again. But... Oh, it's no use. Who in the world would believe a ragamuffin like me could be a prince? If only I could find some friends. Midnight. Time to escort Prince Gerard to his new royal chamber. <laughs> All right, you little laggard. Time to... What? He... He's gone! Mrs. Sowerberry. A terrible catastrophe has befallen us. The poor sick prince is gone. Gone? Yes, escaped. I, 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 I mean, wandered off. The fever must have affected his mind. Oh, no! <laughs> You haven't, perchance, seen any trace of the brat? Uh, 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 my beloved nephew. Oh, no, me lady. The only soul I've seen all night was a poor little peasant boy babbling some nonsense about being a prince. <gasps> that was he! 
Oh, the poor dear is so ill. He sometimes thinks he's a peasant and uh, dresses accordingly. Which way did he go? I, I saw him in for the forest with a strange little toy doll. A doll? I told you he was to have no toys. Ah, uh, well, we'd better go and find my dear nephew and, and see that he's properly taken care of. When we catch that brat, we'll lock him in a prison from which he'll never escape. And then we'll throw his little doll to the fire. <laughs> it's the prince. Thanks, picked up the scent. Excellent. That little brat, Gerard, will soon be locked up again. Ha! Ah, here, 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 there. They're after us. They'll never outrun them. Perhaps we should face them like men. If only we were men. You want to cross that river? You must be daft. Hang on, little friend, and try to keep your nose dry. I'm afraid Fang has lost the scent, milady. Then he will just have to find it again. Across the river! I just don't get it. What could have gone wrong? My poor clockwork Smurf lying out there broken. Bye, Smurf. I'm gonna get him on his feet again. Look it, but I am a prince, Prince Gerard. <coughs> Tomorrow should be my coronation day as king, but my evil aunt, Lady Imperia, wishes to take the crown for herself. Thanks to your clockwork smurf, I escaped the prison tower in which she's been keeping me. But unless we stop Imperia and her henchmen before it's too late, both my kingdom and I will be doomed. <coughs> Your Majesty, I, Smurfs, and I will be honored to help you in any way we can. Yeah! Look at my right! Look at my left! Yeah! yeah. 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 Hold it, Smurfs, hold it! First, how about a nice bath and some clean clothes, Prince? Oh, thank you. And something to eat? Now you're talking, Prince. Oh. <laughs> I could use a little midnight snack myself. Follow me! Yes, yes, real prince. I uh, just wanted to say what you've done for the prince is really smurfy. A real father couldn't be more proud. Don't worry, my lady. We'll keep the home fires burning for our little lost prince, eh, gents? <laughs> Splendid! With this brush cleared, no one will be able to pass this way without being seen. <laughs> now I must return to the castle to prepare for my coronation. When you catch the little scoundrel, you know what to do with him. That we do, milady. That we do. What a night, but it was worth it. Smurfs, I believe this glowberry formula will save the prince and his kingdom. Yay! Oh, but Papa Smurf, he's no longer a prince. May we present his majesty, King Gerard. to you all, now I not only feel like a king, I look like one too. Then it's time you return to your kingdom to claim your crown. This glowberry formula will get you safely past your enemies. <gasps> ah! 
and we will accompany you. <gasps> yeah! Ah, Clockwork Smurf, your job is the most important and dangerous of all. You are to run ahead as a decoy to lure Imperia and her men on the wrong course. <coughs> now, the effects of this potion only last two hours, so let's get smurfing! <coughs> them before they reach the kingdom. To the horses! We want the prince! We want the prince! We want the prince! We want the prince! My dear people, with the heaviest of hearts, I regret to inform you that last night my beloved nephew, Prince Gerard, passed away in my arms. Oh, no. Oh, no. But just before the dear child slipped away, he whispered his final wish to me, that I, Imperia, take the crown in his place as new ruler of the kingdom. Oh. Hurry, hurry! You're catching up! I hate catching up! Oh, look at Prince Gerard! <gasps> Papa Smurf, what happened? It hasn't been two hours yet. I feared this might happen. I've never had to figure the exact dosage for a human before. There he is. We have you now, you sneaky little whelp. Stand fast. No, run fast. We'll handle him. Run him down, men. <laughs> because of you. <laughs> On behalf of my entire kingdom, I present you with this award for your valor and bravery. Long live the Smurf! Long live the Smurfs! Long live the Smurfs! I'll eat to that. <laughs> we are deeply honored, but in all fairness, this medal belongs to Clockwork Smurf. <laughs> It is this little doll with a big heart who is the true hero. <laughs> and now, as you begin the business of tending to your kingdom, so we Smurfs must return to ours. Farewell, little Smurfs. I will never forget your kindness. Goodbye, Clockwork 
work, Smurf. And don't forget to oil your gears. From now on, changing the weather is a breeze. All right, Smurf your machine to find, and we'll all go on our picnic. <laughs> you got it. Goodbye. Farewell, my friend. Parting is such sweet Smurfness. Uh, aren't you coming to the picnic, Poet Smurf? No, no. I'm going to stay behind and compose. An ode to the sun. Suit your style. Phew. If only there'd be a simpler way to water them. Wait a minute. Ah, come to think of it, I reckon there do be a simpler way. Here's a good spot for our picnic. First, we'll go for a swim. Then we'll rest. Then we'll eat. Then we'll rest. Rainy, you won't be needing that umbrella. Andy, I always say it's better to be safe than sorry. And furthermore, the weather might change and... Not with my weather smurfing machine, it won't. I guarantee it. I'll be soon taking care of me dusty little lettuces. I reckon first I smurf this lever. An ode to the sun. Oh, glorious sun, so warm and bright. I, huh? <laughs> that machine be a great step forward for agriculture. This rain is spoiling my poem. The weather smurfing machine must be out of order. I'll just smurf the controls to strong sun. There, see Papa Smurf? It was only a passing shower. I told you you could count on my machine. I hate counting. Oh, Smurf, that their lovely rain have already stopped. I be going to set that machine to downpour, I be. A take two. <coughs> oh, glorious sun, so warm and... Right? I suppose I'll just have to order up a heat wave. Ha-ha! <laughs> that be the way, little plants. Just you keep her going. Who 
always turn in on the heat. I'll just recite my ode right here so that I won't be interrupted anymore. <clears throat> oh, glorious sun, so warm and bright, well, I'll be smuffed. Poet, have you been interfering with that damn machine? Indeed I have. Sunshine has an illuminating effect on my poetry. Well, I'll be needing an irrigating effect on the plants. Oh, no you don't. I was here first. Ouch! Keep your poetry-picking hands off. Oh, of all the luck, my umbrella's jammed. Hm, it stopped. Oh, oh, now it's jammed again. Andy, I think there may be one or two little details you overlooked on your weather smurfing machine. I want rain. And I want sun. I say rain. Sun. Rain. Sun. <laughs> rain. No sun. Phew. All of a sudden, it's boiling hot. Um, uh, perfect weather for uh, a dip in the lake. Uh, come on, last one is all wet. Hey, the lake's frozen. So's my tail. Oh, uh, well, uh, look at the bright side. Uh, we can skate on the ice. Sun, rain, sun, rain. This is starting to get out of hand. I'm afraid your weather smurfing machine has gone haywire. Oh, don't worry, Papa Smurf. Uh, I'll just go back to the village and fix it. We'll all go back. It's not safe out for Smurf or Beast. No! Rain! Sun, sun, rain! Sun. Rain! Snow! Snow? The, the machine's out of control! We have to shut it off! The controls be stuck! I reckon we got to do something before it gets any worse. We best tell Papa Smurf. Great Smurf! I've never seen the river so full! Look, here comes Handy and the others! Thanks, Smurfness! Handy! Come quickly! It's your machine! What's wrong? Well, we was having a wee little argument. And, um, we sort of kind of moved the controls a little. Uh, well, just a mite. And they kind of got a tiny bit broken. I knew it! Well, don't just stand there! Let's go fix it! Look out for that wall! Get off the bridge! Run for your Smurfs! Oh! Help! Hang on, Andy! We got you! All together now, Smurfs! Oh! Smurfs, we will have to find another place to cross the river. It's going to be a long, hard trip, so stick together. The weather is constantly changing. Precisely why I brought this umbrella. You can never be too careful, I always say. Better safe than sorry, or to phrase it in more common terms. Ooh. Wait for me! Oh, this rain is ruining my hair! Hey! Who turned out the lights? Relax, everyone! It's only fog! Oh, my goodness! It sure is thick! Uh, yeah! A real pea super! Yummy! I like pea soup. Listen, what's that strange noise? I, I, I don't know. Surprise! It's mud! <laughs> I hate mud. Correction, it's frozen mud. I double hate frozen mud. Uh, well, look at it this way, Papa Smurf. At least now my machine can't make things any worse. Hey! You were saying, Handy? Oh, boo-hoo! I want to go home! We'll never get home. Handy, this is all because of you and your weather smurfing machine. Me? What about Port and Farmer? I the innocent? Nay, the true culprit is Farmer Smurf. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Hold it! We have enough problems without all this. Now behave your Smurfs and let's get moving. Oh, I'm so hot. <laughs> now I'm so cold. Now I'm so... Smurf! My 
my poor machine. It's even worse than I feared. Quickly, we must reach it before the weather changes again. Controls are jammed. Oh, I threw it for doom. Finish. I can use this. Hey, my umbrella. What are you doing to it? Aha! A smurfy idea, Handy. Stand back. Everyone back. Smurfing machine? I know how hard it was for you to destroy your greatest invention, Handy. But from now on, we must never tamper with nature without first considering the consequences. Yes, Papa Smurf! Ooh, happy days are here again! Yeah, that sun sure feels good. Oh, yeah? How am I supposed to finish my new... Oh, to the rain! <gasps> <laughs> well, at least it's ecologically sound. Now, my little Smurfs, according to my astral charts, the meteor shower is due to begin this evening. Omnibus and I will be making very Smurfy scientific observations of this event. The meteor shower... All right, Smurf, out of the way. Out of the way. Papa Smurf's assistance coming through. <laughs> Here you go, Brady. Let me help. Clumsy, no! This is valuable scientific paraphernalia. It must be handled by an incredibly intelligent Smurf. Ugh, trained in ugh, scientific matters. Clumsy, will you please? Whoa. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, oh. oh clumsy. You broke Vanity's mirror. Do you know what that means? Oh, gosh, no! That's bad luck. Seven unsmurfy years of bad luck. Seven years of bad luck? Seven years is too good for it. Don't smurf any attention to that, Clumsy. It's just a lot of superstitious nonsense. But Papa Smurf, there's firm scientific evidence. Brainy, enough. Now enjoy the meteor shower, my little Smurfs. I'll be back in a few days. Have a Smurfy time, Papa Smurf. Smurf, hello to Homnibus for us. Goodbye, Papa Smurf. And remember, Clumsy, Papa Smurf isn't always right. Oh, he isn't? Of course not. But I am absolutely certain I'm right about the seven years of bad luck. <laughs> <laughs> See what I mean? Bad luck. It's starting already. I think this Smurf melon is a little too heavy for your cart, Farmer. Yeah, yeah. Some melon by Smurfy, my biggest ever. Uh oh, maybe if I can get Taylor to sew this for me, my bad luck will be over, Brainy. Forget it, Clumsy. This is just the beginning. It's going to get worse and worse and worse. Yeah! Oh, you all right, Handy? You all right? Fine, Clumsy, fine. Just keep away from me. Oh, oh, look out! Whoa! Oh, no! More bad luck. How's this, Painter? Uh, Mademoiselle Smurfette, you are the creme de la creme, the Smurfy bun bun, the feminine... Whoa! Sacre Smurf, my masterpiece! My flower! My song! My melon! My dignity! Oh, my bad luck? You bet. And while, as you all know, I am not the pushy type, in Papa Smurf's absence, I must take charge and make this crucial decision. Clumsy must be kept isolated to protect the rest of us from his bad luck. Rainy Smurf! This is outrageous! Don't you treat Clumsy in this cruel and humiliating way just because of your ridiculous superstitions! Ridiculous? <laughs> My fellow Smurfs! Well, uh, it does look Maybe bad. Maybe a short quarter. Until Papa Smurf. I say lock him up. Uh, if I might say something... <laughs> Right. 
Well, Spurfat. Oh, clumsy. I have to stay inside for seven years. Well, clumsy, look at it this way. Seven years is only about 60,000 hours. It'll fly by. I, uh, guess you're right, Brain. Of course I'm right. See you then. <laughs> Thirteen. Fourteen. Oh, well, Omnibus, I hope my little Smurfs are watching. I'm sure they are. A meteor shower is a great natural wonder. <laughs> a natural wonder, indeed. It makes us realize how small we all are. Ah! <gasps> of course, some of us are smaller than others. <laughs> Most spectacular sight I've ever seen. Forty-seven? Forty-eight? Counting meteors, Brady? Uh, sort of hefty. Uh, Forty-nine? Fifty? This is an impressive sight, I must say. And those meteors aren't bad either. Oh! shouldn't be missing all this. Well, I'm smurfing an end to this ridiculous quarantine right now. 64. Oh, my goodness. Clumsy. Clumsy. Great smurf. My heaven. Oh, clumsy. It's Clumsy's house. Clumsy. Good heaven. I've heard of bad luck, but this is ridiculous. That meteor looked like it might have landed near the village, Omnibus. Unbelievable! The odds! Pardon my abrupt departure, but I have to see if my little Smurfs are all right. Of course. Be on your way. I hope all is well. If we hurry, we can be there by sunrise. <laughs> <laughs> This is a moment so bittersweet. A great masterpiece on such a sad monument. The tomb of the Smurf Unlucky. <laughs> the Smurf Unlucky? I hereby dedicate the clumsy commemorative mirror. Not only to commemorate Clumsy's bad luck, but to make the shrine a more interesting place to visit. <laughs> Oh, my Smurfness, no! Oh, Papa Smurf, you're back! It's terrible, Papa Smurf, it's terrible! It can't be! It can't be! Clumsy isn't... Yes, Papa Smurf. I'm afraid Clumsy has... How can I put this delicately? Smurf the bucket. I hate to say I told you so, Papa Smurf, but Clumsy definitely had bad luck. I mean, the odds against this must be a billion Smurfillion to one! If not more. My poor clumsy. My poor clumsy. Uh, ow! Oh, gosh. This sleeping outdoors is a little rough. I guess I'd better get used to it, though, now that no Smurf wants me around. Oh, gosh, Mr. Squirrel. Thanks for sharing your food with me. I'll be learning how to Smurf off the land myself soon. Friends quarantined me so I wouldn't bring them any more bad luck. But I decided... <clears throat> to move way out here <clears throat> to be sure I wouldn't hurt him. Oh, gosh, looks like my bad luck follows me everywhere. Even in life, he collected rocks and loved to play in the dirt. <laughs> and though he was an unlucky Smurf, he went too fast to hurt. Thank you, poet. Very touching. And now, if I might say a few words about our departed fellow Smurf. Seven years away from my friends! Gosh, that's practically a lifetime. And, uh, suppose they forget all about me. <laughs> seven years! Seven years! Oh, it'll be terrible! I've got to go back. I've got to smurf one more look at my friends before I go away for seven years. 
And I think, at this time of great sorrow, it's important to remember that this meteorite is more than a tomb, more than a monument to a great friend. It's a monument to me, Brainy Smurf. For wasn't it I who predicted Clumsy would have seven years' bad luck? More like seven hours, Brainy. So I was a little off on the timing. Brainy Smurf, I've had enough. Here's what I think of your unsmurfy superstition. <laughs> oh, Smurfette, that's at the minimum 7,000 years of bad luck. Oof! Be quiet, Brainy. All we should be thinking about is that Clumsy is... Clumsy is... Oh, God! <laughs> Smurfette's right. That's all that matters. Clumsy is gone. <laughs> <laughs> He'll miss me so. <laughs> oh, no. What have I done? My bad luck hurts my friends no matter how far away I go. <laughs> he has the heart like the little peppercorn. Hey, who had the heart like the little peppercorn? <laughs> Monsieur Clumsy! Monsieur Clumsy Smurf! Oh, no! Not Monsieur Clumsy! Oh, no! Monsieur Clumsy! Oh, and a Smurf and Monsieur Clumsy! Hey! Wait a minute! I'm Monsieur Clumsy! <laughs> Clumsy! Clumsy? Oh, Clumsy, you're alive! We thought we'd never see you again. My little Clumsy. Oh, I've never been so happy to see a Smurf in my life. Never so happy. Smurf, oh, Smurf, Clumsy. If you'd have been in your house, your goose would have been cooked. Yeah, Clumsy, you sure are lucky. Yeah, lucky. <laughs> lucky? Of all the superstitious nonsense, it was merely a matter of... You try to be rational, and what does it get you? Smurfs! Where did they go? They're gone. I can't take this anymore. I've had it, Azriel. No more capturing those disgusting little Smurfs only to lose them again. From now on, I shall destroy them one by one the moment I capture them. And this potion should do the trick. <laughs> Soon, Azriel, this forest will be littered with little bits of stone smurfs. <laughs> Greedy sure wants an awful lot of these herbs for his soup. Yes, I only hope it's worth it. Have you found any, lately? Huh? Oh, oh, no, Cracker. I'll, uh, let's see if I can smurf some over there. Smurfette. Uh, it might take me a while. I... Listen, Azriel. Snoring. It's one of those despicable little rodents. You are a smart one. Help! 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 <laughs> Scream your little blue brains out, you miserable wretch. It won't do you any good. Why, you vile little... Ouch! <laughs> Stop him, Asriel! Stop him! Whoa! Where did he go? Where? Where did he go? Contemptible little beast can't be too far. It's just a matter of finding him. Come out, come out, wherever you are. Show yourself, do you hear? No! Why, you miserable beast, I'll turn you into furball soup. Ouch! Oh, no! 
Gargamel! Asriel! They've turned to stone! Watch the room! Every smurf! Every smurf! Come with us! Hurry! Gargamel and Asriel have turned to stone! Stone? Come on, we'll show you! Come on, clumsy, let's go! Come on, clumsy, this is no time to dilly-dally. Gargamel has turned to stone! Gargamel's turned to stone! I don't think that was very funny. Gargamel has turned to stone! Now, what's this all about? Well, I better go see. I don't believe it. Now, that's funny. <laughs> it's the smurfiest sight I've ever seen. Well, the second smurfiest. Fast one to the top of Mount Gargamel is a wet smurf. Okay. Gargamel, because I was about to give you the old one, two. Give me a. <laughs> 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 That's showing him hefty. La 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 la. How's this, painter? <laughs> Magnifique. Uh, this will be my master pious. Master pious? <laughs> Gargamel tried to turn us to stone, but we didn't let him. And then he spilled it all over himself. And, and then he turned to stone. Smurf, down a minute, my little Smurfs. Gargamel did this to himself? Yes. Mm. Follow me, every Smurf. Where are we going, Papa Smurf? To Gargamel's. To Gargamel? To find an antidote. To, to find an antidote? Why, Papa Smurf? Gargamel wants to destroy us. Because, my little Smurfs, if we don't help Gargamel and Azriel, then we're no better than they are. Oh! Hmm. I know this is the formula that will change Gargamel back to his old rotten self. But part of the page is worn away. One ingredient is missing. Oh, well. Yes, we'll have to forget the whole thing then. Oh, yes, well, yes, 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 yes. Hold it, Smurfs. We have to do what's right. But Papa Smurf, Gargamel, and Azrael, they're our enemies. Tracker, we don't have to like them, but we do have to save them. Someday you'll understand. Now come, my little Smurfs. Perhaps I can find a missing ingredient in one of my books. Oh! Uh, I've got the rest of your books from the storeroom, Papa Smurf. Just put them here, clumsy. Yow! Oh, uh, sorry, Papa Smurf. Just try to be more careful, Clumsy. Yes, Papa Smurf. I hope that antidote is somewhere in these books. What you painting, Painter? Ah, uh, it is my greatest work ever, Monsieur Handy. Let's see. I don't see anything. Uh, I am so depressed that Papa Smurf wants to save Gargamel. I have no, no inspiration. Inspiration? This is terrible. This is absolutely terrible. Hey! Jokey, that wasn't funny. Nothing is anymore. I thought we were finally rid of that mean old Gargamel, but Papa Smurf wants to bring him back. Don't worry, Jokey. I've got an idea. Building something to take the place of Gargamel. Who needs that? I'm glad Gargamel's gone. And this will remind Papa Smurf how bad things were with Gargamel around. Yeah, then he'll forget all about this antidote business. <laughs> Good, then no more Gargamel. Oh, Tractor, don't be so mean. I feel sorry for Gargamel now, even if he was mean and nasty. <laughs> 
Is that so? Name one good thing about Gargamel. Well, he's, um, um, uh, well, uh... Um... See, he's rotten to the core. It's finished! <laughs> All those rotten, disgusting, vile little smurfs. <laughs> I'll get you if it's the last thing I ever do. <laughs> oh, spare us, evil wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Never. I'll get you all. Whoa! Oh, something isn't smoking right. Yikes! Stop it, Andy. Turn it off. I can't. The controls are jammed. This is it. The formula with a missing ingredient. I hope Pops will find a cure for the real Gargamel soon. We'll be a lot safer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, you may be right, Jokey. I have found the missing ingredient for Gargamel's antidote. The rare herb Revivus animatus, found only on the cliffs at the edge of the forest. While the rest of you smurf up this mess, Tracker can fetch me some. Um, maybe I should stay here and help the others, Papa Smurf. Tracker, will you please fetch me that herb? Yes, Papa Smurf. This is absolutely smurfly ridiculous. Helping Gargamel after all those nasty things he's done to us. Ah, finally, the herbs. This should bring old Gargamel back to life. And I'll probably regret it for the rest of my life. Help! 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 I know it's getting late, Papa Smurf, but Tracker's a good word, Smurf. That's true, Andy, but I'm still worried. This is a terrible storm. We'd better go after it. If I don't smurf out of here soon, I'll get smurf pneumonia. Let's smurf it up. We're almost to the top of the cliff. I'm so tired. Oh, looks like the end of the trail for old Tracker Smurf. I'll miss all my little smurfs. Who's there? Tracker, is that you? Papa Smurf. Oh, thanks, Smurfness. I'll never be able to thank you, Smurfs, enough. You not only rescued me, but you taught me just how precious life is. Even Gargamel's. Papa Smurf, here's the herbs you need to finish the antidote. Good, Tracker. Very good. Now we can bring Gargamel and Asriel back to life. Here they are, fellas. Take us down. Smurfs away! Where is he, Azriel? Where is that disgusting little... My potion! My wonderfully evil, rotten, cruel, ruthless potion! How did they do this? I hate them! I hate every miserable little blue pore on their rotten little blue bodies! They are the worst, most insufferable, most revolting, most... Oh, well, Papa Smurf, I guess things are back to normal. Yes, Tracker, it certainly sounds that way. <coughs> ah, the very first cuckoo of spring. And that means, my little Smurfs, that today is the day we celebrate the Rite of Spring Festival with dancing, music, and poetry. Hooray! Boys, your role in the festival is the most important one of all. In accordance with the great Smurf Almanac, you must compose a special poem to spring and recite it for us at sunset. Count on me, Papa Smurf. It will be the most beautiful poem ever Smurf. Here it is, Azriel, the most powerful potion I have ever concocted. I think I'll call it Sweet Silence. <laughs> <laughs> All we need now, Azriel, is a victim. <laughs> It works! My 
my sweet silence works. Oh, now to find those chattering smurfs. I can hardly wait not to hear them. <laughs> <clears throat> the first sign of spring is a song the birds sing. When the whole world... What garbage! It's a pity those revolting words are the last you'll ever speak. <laughs> he can't even cry for help. What in the bitch? <laughs> Curse you, Cuckoo! Little blue menace got away! Well, if you ask me, I say... <laughs> What's wrong, Poet? Something smurfed in your throat? I'll help you, Poet! Feel better yet, old pal? What is he doing? I think he's trying to tell us something! There is only one way this spell can be broken. Well, hello, little friend. Have you a song for me today? Oh, dear. I've never seen a cuckoo who couldn't cuckoo before. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! Gargamel has done something to Poet's voice! Hmm. It must be some kind of spell. Open your mouth. Gargamel, eh? Perhaps he did the same thing to this little cuckoo. Oh, the poor thing. Well, Poet, I'll get to work on a remedy. First, I must find out exactly what kind of a spell Gargamel used. Oh, Papa Smurf, how is Poet going to recite his poem for the Rite of Spring Festival? Have no fear, my little Smurfs. I know someone who can help Poet speak even without his voice. My good friend, Laconia the Wood Elf. Speak without using his voice? That's impossible. No, my little Smurfs. You'll soon find it is very possible indeed. Please take this letter to Laconia in Wood Elf Grove. Speaking without your voice? Now that's something I've got to see. <laughs> so then I said, what do you think I am? Just another beauty mark on the face of the earth? <laughs> <laughs> that's telling them vanity. Oh, you said it. <laughs> oh, vanity, you so left. Oh, poor poet. He must feel so left out. Here comes Laconia. Hey! 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 Welcome, Laconia. Oh, we're so glad you've come to visit. Oh, gosh. You're the prettiest little wood elf I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, why doesn't she say something, Papa Smurf? Because, my little Smurfs, Laconia is mute. She cannot speak with her voice. Oh! But she has smurfed a very special way to talk with her friends, and they with her. It's called sign language. Oh! With sign language, a Smurf who cannot speak or hear will not have to feel left out of the conversation. Anything you can Smurf out loud, you can Smurf just as beautifully with sign. Anything? Well, then, uh, how would you sign a, a butterfly? Oh! Well, what's the sign for bird? Ah! Uh, what's the sign for cat? Like that mean old nasty Asriel. Oh! Oh, yep, that sure looks like Asriel, all right. Smurfs, Smurfs. Words like bird and cat are amusing. But you're forgetting the most important word in the entire universe. Smurf. For some words, Brainy, you must think of a new sign to describe what you mean. Oh, Laconia, that's a perfect sign for Smurf. Yes! Yeah, 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 yeah. And if you want to sign some Smurf's name, you just pick out the sign for a characteristic that makes that Smurf unique. Take Hefty Smurf, for instance. <laughs> That's a great sign for my name. Mm -hmm. I'll bet your will take a little while to smurf up a name sign for me. <laughs> <laughs> Laconia says that will be easy. <laughs> <laughs> That's me, all right. <laughs> Pretty smurf. I hate asking, mm -hmm. but what about baby smurf? Oh, 
Ah, yes. It's time we started translating Poet's Poem for the Rite of Spring Festival. Come, let's find somewhere quiet. <clears throat> now, remember, Poet, you can express just as much feeling with sign language as you can with your voice. Well, well, well. Mind if I join your little party? Run, run. <laughs> gotcha. Well, well, well. What have we here? A friend of the Smurfs? Splendid! Then you can tell me how to get to their village. You won't talk? Well, I have ways to make you talk. Many, many ways. <laughs> Poor Laconia. We must rescue her. <laughs> if we are to succeed in rescuing Laconia, we must first find a way to get past Azrael. That's a brave cuckoo. <laughs> Quickly, poet, let's go. Well, well, well. <laughs> Being the soft-hearted, generous wizard that I am, I, Gargamel, will give you the ability to speak. And in your gratitude, I'm sure you'll be only too glad to tell me how to get to the Smurf village. That's only fair, isn't it? In that case, I shall make you talk. I think you'll soon warm up to the idea, my silent little friend. <laughs> hmm. For the spell to work, this incantation must be spoken aloud. Now's our chance. Lip of lizard, tongue of hen. What in the... I'll get you, you miserable little... Now you know how it feels to have no voice, Gargamel. Stop! If you harm us, Gargamel, there will be no one to recite the incantation, and you'll never speak again. Set Laconia free, and I'll recite the incantation. Good. Now, everyone gather around. You too, little bird. Lip of lizard, tongue of hen. Speechless poet, speak again. <clears throat> it's working. Songless cuckoo, sing again. Cuckoo, cuckoo. Lip of lizard, tongue of hen. Speechless wizard, speak again. And now, to give you a voice, Laconia, a cat? Where? Oh, no! Now Laconia will never be able to speak. No, but I will. And now, for one of my favorite phrases... Get them, Azriel! This way, and hurry! <laughs> Escape me this time, and I shall see to it that you'll never speak another word the rest of your miserable lives. <laughs> Capturing you now will be as easy as falling off a log. You can always count on Gargamel to make a big splash. <laughs> oh, yeah. Laconia, I can never thank you enough for saving my life. I only wish we could have saved the formula to give you a voice. We're all very sorry, Laconia. Laconia says not to feel sad. She's happy just the way she is. Yay, Poet! Yay, Poet! Thank you, thank you. I shall now recite my poem to spring in both Smurf language and sign language. Oh! Psst! But Poet... You don't need sign language now. You've got your voice back. I know, but smurfing in sign language is so beautiful. <clears throat> the first sign of spring is a song the birds sing when the whole world gets a fresh start. But no words can convey what a smile has to say. To a Smurf, it's a song from the heart. Yay! Laconia, 
How do you say I love you in sign language? And I love you too. in the forest. At last, at last, Azriel, victory is near. Cockamel, I'd better see what he's up to. Remember this day, Azriel, and remember it well. It marks the beginning of the end for those stinking, rotten, miserable Smurfs. Ah, I think I hear my secret weapon now. Gotcha! Ah, you are a fine specimen. At long last, a plan that cannot fail. <laughs> Poor Gargamel. He never gives up. I wonder what he will be this time. That's right, baby. Now see if this gear works over there. Cordon Bleu! No, no, no! Come, come, my little crouton. To become a great painter, we must begin your training immediately. Oh, come on. Be serious, painter. Baby's gonna be a great engineer. I've always known that. <laughs> Look what Baby did this morning. What is it? Well, I'm not quite sure, but it's obviously the work of a mechanical genius. Genius, yes, but Bobby is an artist. Please, please, please! What is all this giggling about? <laughs> Why, listen to that. Free verse. Baby, you are obviously a poet. Answer. Engineer, poet. <laughs> this place should do nicely, Azriel. After all, we wouldn't want this happening inside my chateau. <laughs> Ipso. Facto. Locust. Maxo. <laughs> I've done it, Azriel. <laughs> I've done it. <laughs> oh, what a genius I am. That it multiply to the hundreds, the thousands, the millions. <laughs> it worked, Azriel. It worked. What have I always said, Azriel? Destroy the forest, and you destroy the Smurf. <laughs> Imagine Cargamel thinking that a tiny insect could in any way. Then again, hmm, now what can that be? Good grief! Those locusts will destroy the entire forest. So that's what Gargamel was up to. I must do something before it's too late. Hurry, my friends, save yourselves. I must reach out the village before it's too late. Amazing! They've cut me off! I'm trapped! Baby Smurf? Uh, I sure wish I was as talented as you. Yep, I sure do. <laughs> oh, what's that beautiful sound? Why, why, Baby's a musical genius. I do, too. How come everybody thinks Baby's a genius? I know genius when I hear it. Of course, it'll be a while before you're as good as I am. <laughs> Try to imitate that. Needs a lot of work, but uh, we can work on it. Come on, baby. Time to get back to engineering. Ah, uh, baby, time to get back to painting. You're both wrong. Baby's going to be a great musician. A musician? A musician? Hey! Yeah? Oh, poor baby. It's time for your dinner. If you aren't properly fed, you won't grow up at all. Oh, Smurfette, I think it's my turn to feed Baby. May I? 
Why, thank you, Brainy. I'll never see my little spurs. And I'll hurry. We must reach Spur Village before the locusts. <coughs> Baby Spur, I always say better be the mind than the stomach. Therefore, I am personally going to introduce you to the true profession of future holds in store for you. You will be an intellectual. Oh, gosh, an intellectual. Can I watch? Even better, you can help. Hmm, not profound enough. Here. Hmm, better. Hold this and this. Well, this one isn't so bad. Neither is this. But somewhere in all these books... <laughs> Here it is! The definitive tome! The quotations of Brainy Smurf. How could Papa Smurf let it get so dusty? <sighs> Oh, baby, how will Papa Smurf know which chemical is which? Uh, you can ask him, righty? Here he comes now. Oh, Clumsy, you mustn't tell Papa Smurf. We don't want him to get angry with Baby, do we? Well, no, uh, I guess not. But, but what if... Fine, you get Baby out of here, and I'll fix the labels before Papa Smurf finds out. The bee is on petal, Papa Smurf. Not now, my little Smurfs. We face a most dire threat to our very existence. A huge swarm of locusts, created by Archimel, is approaching the village. I must immediately prepare something to stop them. Brainy, where's that bottle of dragon's breath? Hurry, Brainy. Here it is, Papa Smurf. I, I think. Hurry, my little Smurfs. They'll eat everything in sight. They'll eat everything? Oh, it's the end of the world! Fire! Yay! Oh, no! Your formula didn't work, Papa Smurf. What went wrong? I don't know. I'm positive I used all the right ingredients. There's still time for one more try. If I can only figure out what went wrong. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! I've got something to tell you! I don't understand. I'm sure I measured precisely. Oh, Papa Smurf, please forgive me. Forgive oh, you? Brainy, what for? Your formula didn't work because, because, because Baby is going to be an intellectual. I don't understand. I, I was going to instruct Baby from your books, but Baby took all the labels off your chemicals and I put them back on. Wrong. Oh, no. That means I'll have to check out every one. We'll talk about this later, Brindy. Hurry, Papa Smurf! The locusts are almost at the village! There's not a moment to lose! Ready, Papa Smurf! Fire! It's working, Papa Smurf! They're growing fewer in number! Amazing! They're gone! The locusts are gone! Hooray! Look at these beautiful dead branches, Azriel. Isn't it a lovely day? Any moment now, we'll come upon those rotten berry eaters with no berries left to eat, no forest to hide in, no place to go except into my net. <laughs> hmm. Why don't I hear the locusts anymore? They're diminishing. This is Papa Smurf's doing. Am I ever going to win? Just once, could I? You miserable little traitor! Get off of there! You hear me? Now cut that out! Don't you! Ow, ow, ow! Hey, ow! Thank you for saving us from the locust, Papa Smurf. We're all so relieved. But we're all so sad because of what's happened to our forest. Of course you are. But the forest will recover, beginning with the next raid. Yay! Yes, my little Smurfs. The forest is indeed turning green with this first raid. This much I could predict for you, but there is one thing not even I can know, and that is, what is the future role Baby Smurf will play in the world? Painter, chef, engineer, who knows? So let us all be patient, and now let's celebrate this wonderful rain with a little dance. Hooray! <laughs> I'm 
sorry about all the trouble I caused. I forgive you, Brady, provided this teaches you that none of us is as smart as he thinks he is. Oh, it does have a smirk. But you really do see that Baby Smurf will be an intellectual, don't you? I have no idea who Baby Smurf will take after. Now get out there and dance!